Hey, how's it going, everybody? In today's video, I want to talk about three affirmations successful people repeat every day. Now, this video was inspired inspired by a article that I read the other day by Inc. Um, I can leave the link in the description down below. But I just want to come on here and share these three affirmations that I feel like can possibly change your life if you repeat it every day and you believe it and you work towards becoming what you say so successful people they say affirmations um and we say affirmations every day but successful people are aware that their affirmations that they're saying has an effect on their life so it's about what affirmations that they say and what are they telling themselves mentally in their head that is resulting in their reality or manifesting in the reality. So there are three things that I believe you can say to yourself that will help you have a different mindset, a stronger mindset, a more higher vibrating mindset. And what are affirmations? Out of affirmations are statements that we say to ourselves. So for example, um, in my head, I can say, I'm so grateful for today. I'm grateful for this moment. I'm grateful for breathing air. I'm grateful for being able to see sunlight, beautiful sunlight and beautiful nature all around me. That's an affirmation. I said that to myself. I'm this. The, if you put I am or I in front of it, it becomes an affirmation. So something that you believe for yourself. Okay. So, yes, your words are powerful. Words do have an effect on you. Words have an effect on everybody. Words is what we use to communicate. So, I don't believe in the words, in the saying, sticks and stones might may break my bones, but words can never hurt you. No, that's a lie. Words can fucking hurt you. Okay, so, I don't believe, with, I don't believe that. I believe that your words are powerful, and what you say is powerful. So, say what you mean, and mean what you say. So, let's get into it. All right, so the first affirmation is, I expect to win, I deserve to win. I expect to win, I deserve to win. I'll repeat that again. I expect to win, I deserve to win. This is something that they repeat to themselves every day. In the morning time when you first wake up I guarantee you if you ha if you say this to yourself write it down put it on your mirror I expect to win I deserve to win you're gonna be able to if you say it long enough for maybe a month if you say it every day at least three times a day when you first wake up you are going to start winning you're going to see you gain more wins throughout that month. All right. So the next thing is, I will not care what others, what other people think about me or think of me. I will not care what other people think about me. So when you're telling yourself that, I don't care what other people think about me. I'm going to start my business. I don't care what my parents or my family's gonna say, I'm going to go back to school. I don't care what my friends are gonna say. I'm going to start being vegan. I don't care what my family has to say. I'm going to take this leap. I'm going to do what, I want, what I've been wanting to do, what my soul is telling me to do. All right. So the third one is I can't do everything today, but I can take small I can take one small step today. So this is huge. This is a huge thing. So you, you, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I was younger, and I say younger, like, I'm just this old lady, but, okay, maybe two or three years ago, 
whenever I started something, I felt like I had to do it fast, like all within that month or all within one day. And I never got anything done. done. I never completed my projects because I was underneath this mindset of I got to get it as fast as I can. I got to do as much as I can today. But then what I realized is that's not true. And one of my mentors told me that the best way to eat an elephant is not whole. It's one piece at a time. And it just clicked. It made so much sense. Because if I'm trying to eat this elephant or I'm trying to start this business or I'm trying to run a business and get everything set up in one day, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm setting I'm setting an expectation way too high and I'm gonna get burnt out fast. So a way of having longevity and being able to commit to a big project like an elephant or a big project like a business or a big project like completely changing your lifestyle, going to start working out, getting to your uh, to your fitness goals, reaching your financial goals, getting out of poverty, get, um, you know, building myself up, building an empire, building a legacy. I can't do that all in one day. It takes time, but it takes consistent action, consistent task completing, consistent goal setting, consistent execution that's going to get me to where I need to go. And that's why I love this third affirmation. I can't do everything today, but I can take one small step today. I can eat that elephant piece by piece, one piece at a time. And I guarantee you, if there's anything that you want to do, like let's say you work a nine to five, but you also have a side hustle or you want to start earning money on the side. Well, what you're going to have to start doing is setting aside an hour to two hours a day, strictly focused on task to achieve that goal, to get money from that side hustle. And once you do that, once you set out one to two hours a day and you're consistently taking action, you're consistently showing up, completing those tasks for what you want to do in that one to two hours, you're going to see results. And you keep it up for five, ten years, you're going to see results. I'm pretty sure you're going to see results by year or two. But you keep on going. So that pretty much concludes my video. I'm not trying to make it too long. But the three successful affirmations, or just three affirmations successful people repeat every day. Um, it all starts with how you talk to yourself. So you want to talk to yourself positively. So the first one is, I expect to win. I deserve to win. The second one is, I will not care what other people think. The third one is, I can't do everything today, but I can take one step, one small step today, one small step at a time. So guys, with that being said, um, if you're looking to build a legacy and you don't know really how to start, the best thing that I would do is start with your life insurance policy. So if you don't have life insurance or you heard about life insurance and you're not really taking it seriously, I strongly advise you to look into it, reach out to me if you have any questions, if you're interested in it, and we can you can set up a 15 to 30 minute consultation booking, asking me questions, but that's one of the best ways to start your legacy. And it's not really talked about, I don't know why, but be mindful that life is very unexpected. And the coronavirus showed us that, um, you know, so we gotta be prepared. And like I said, if 
if you're looking to build a legacy reach out to me and with that being said make sure to subscribe like comment notification bell i want to hear what you have to think what you have to say i want to hear what you have to think <laughs> i want to hear what you have to say um i look forward to reading the comments don't matter what kind of comments they are uh the time that you take out of your day to leave a message is very th it's very thoughtful i i enjoy reading them with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.